Okay, Joey Spina, coming back from your layoff there, how'd you feel about your fight? I felt great, you know, um, I had a good training camp, uh, one, of my, one of my trainers, Jose Santos, so I felt good, you know, a long layoff, but uh, I'm back now, so. This guy that you fought, he was a hard veteran, he liked, he knows how to go the distance and whatnot, were you concerned about that at all? Not at all, you know, I, I know if I hit anybody, you know, I'm eventually gonna go and, and that's what was going on, you know. It was, uh, Kind of an unusual knockout. How did you feel about that? Well, you know, if it's a matter of time, if he didn't, if he didn't get knocked out, then I'm going to put him with a shot. Like, well, so, what are you going to do? Stuff like this. So now it's set up for you and uh, Jesse Brinkley. How do you feel about that fight? You know, I'm excited. Jesse's a great guy. You know, I'm ready to do it. You know, pass right. I have nothing to prove, you know, to beat him. But if you make the money right, it's going to happen. All right. But last time you two fought, he was out boxing you and out pointing you the whole fight until you were able to get the knockout. Uh, how do you feel this next fight's going to go differently? You know what? I didn't listen to my corner. And, um, you know, hopefully the same way. You know, hopefully it goes the same way. You know, hopefully I get him out of there quick and, and do what I do best. Anything else you'd like to say? No, I want to thank uh, Vegas. I want to thank Terry Lane, Jimmy Bradfield, and my team, you know, for supporting me. And uh, Pete McFarrell Sr. for having me out. And, you know, come February, we're going to get it on.